The year is 1999. Julie Payette will become the first Canadian to board the International Space Station. Nunavut will become the newest territory of Canada and a company that was originally a subsidiary of Shaw Communications was spin off them, becoming a company called Chorus Entertainment. Now let's go to 2023, where Chorus is a big, if not the biggest name when it comes to broadcasting in Canada, with them owning channels like Showcase, Teletoon, and YTV, and having broadcasting rights to air channels in Canada like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and Disney Channel. In total, they have 39 radio stations and a portfolio of 33 television services. So welcome to the history of one of the biggest broadcasting companies in Canada, Course Entertainment. Before I do get into this video, if you want to, please subscribe both this channel and my second channel. I sometimes record on these videos and I'd like you to subscribe. But again, you don't have to. And also, if you notice anything's wrong in this video, then let me know either in the comments or on Twitter. Anyways, let's get into this video. Chorus Entertainment's story begins in the year 1966 with the creation of its, at the time, partner company, Shaw Communications. Shaw Communications is a telecommunications company founded by J.R. Shaw. And in 1987, J.R. Shaw would form another company under Shaw Communications called Shaw Radio. Shaw Radio would acquire two radio stations located in Red Deer, Alberta, those being CIZZ FM and CKGY FM. They would later acquire more radio stations in different years, those being on screen. In 1995, Shaw would acquire a 34% stake in YTV from CUC Broadcasting. They would later acquire Rogers remaining shares of YTV in 1998. Now we get to September 1998, when founder J.R. Shaw and CEO John Cassidy announced plans for Shaw Communications to spin out all of its television specialty channels, radio stations, and our media properties into a company that would be named Chorus Entertainment, leaving Shaw as a quote-unquote pure play telecommunications company. The decision to spin out the properties was made to comply with CRTC recommendations. Chorus would become a separately public traded company in September 1999, but it was still controlled by the Shaw family. Also in September 1999, Chorus would acquire the broadcasting assets of the Power Corporation of Canada, gaining four television channels and 16 radio stations. A month later, in October 1999, as a part of a break of the Western International Communications, Chorus would acquire 12 radio stations and most of its television channels, including Stakes and Family Channel, Super Channel, Movie Max, and Teletoon. Over a year later, in September 2000, after negotiations and rumored offers from other studios, Nelvana would be acquired by Chorus for $540 million. The deal was considered to be a complement to its children television networks like YTV and Treehouse. Chorus would gain its stake in Family Channel and Teletoon. Chorus had stated that it planned to use the purchase to help launch a preschool-oriented channel in the United States. In March 2001, the CRTC was sending complaints to Chorus about its near monopoly of children's specialty channels in Canada. So in response, Chorus sold some of stake to Astral Media. Chorus would also sell its stake in Western Canada pay-per-view service Vera's Choice to Shaw Communications. They would also acquire the Women's Television Network, or current day W Network, from Shaw. In August 2002, Chorus would sell two Oshawa, Ontario radio stations, those being CKDO and CKGEFM to Durham Radio. Earlier in May 2002, Chorus had announced that they have acquired a 50% stake in Latin American Spanish language channel Locomotion. Hearst Corporation owned the other half. In March 2004, Chorus and Astral announced that it would acquire and swap radio stations in Quebec. Chorus acquired the Radio Media Network and Quebec City CFOM with Astral acquiring the radio stations on screen right now. Chorus would also sell its earlier bought Red Deer Alberta stations, CKGY FM and CIZZ FM, to Newcap Radio, which is current day Stingray Radio. 
In July 2007, Corus acquired two radio stations, CKBT-FM located in Kitchener, Ontario, and CFPG-FM located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, from Canwest. In June 2008, CHRC, which was a channel Corus acquired in the previous radio media, now known as Corus Quebec Buyouts, would be sold to the ownership group of the Quebec Remparts hockey team. In August 2007, Chorus announced a partnership with Hearst Corporation to launch Cosmopolitan TV. In March 2008, CTV Globe Media, which is current date Bell Media, sold Canadian Learning Television, or current date OPA Winfrey Network, to Chorus. In September 2008, Chorus began a specialty television license for a channel called YTV One World. A year later, Chorus had reached an agreement with MTV Networks to launch a version of Nickelodeon in Canada. This channel officially launched on November 2nd, 2009 at 6 a.m. using the YTV One World license. In 2010, Chorus's sister company Shaw Communications had re-entered the broadcasting industry, reforming the Shaw Media Division, with all new programs coming from them acquiring media assets from bankrupt media company Canwest. Also in 2010, to be exact, April 30th, 2010, Chorus announced that they were selling its Quebec radio station except for CKRS to Corgo. Pending CRTC approval, Chorus hired a reasoning for the sale as being low profitability in comparison to their stations elsewhere. On June 25th, 2010, Chorus would sell CKRS to Radio Segrenay, which was a local business group in Segrenay, Quebec. The earlier mentioned sale was approved by the CRTC on December 17th, 2010, on the condition that Chorus Go owned CJECFM and Chorus owned CFELFM and CKOYFM were to be sold to another party by next year in December 2011. In November 2010, Hasbro Studio signed an agreement with Chorus to broadcast productions by Hasbro on its channels. In January 2011, competing broadcaster Astral Media announced that they would be taking legal action against Chorus to stop the sale of the before-mentioned stations to Corgo, saying that it would own more stations than Astral in the Montreal market, making the competition unfair. In March 2012, Chorus Entertainment and Shaw Communications will launch ABC Spark, which is a localized version of US-based cable network ABC Family. A few months later, in July 2012, Telson Canada, which is owned by both Chorus and Astral, will launch a Canadian version of Cartoon Network in its own Adult Swim block. Now we get to March 2013. In my History of Telson video, I already explained this, so I'll just play a clip from that of me explaining it, and then add on to it due to there being more. On March 4th, 2013, Chorus announced that they would be acquiring their 50% ownership stake in Teletoon due to a pending acquisition of Astral by Bell Media. The purchase would be cleared two weeks after on March 18th and would start over nine months later in December 2013. At the start of the new year in 2014, Chorus would officially become the sole owner of Teletoon, owning 100% of it. With Astral Media being acquired by Bell Media, Chorus would reach a deal to acquire Astral's stake in not just Teletoon, but also Historia and Sirius Plus, as well as acquiring Ottawa radio stations CJOTFM and CKQBFM. Chorus would also announce in an unrelated deal that they'd acquire Shaw Media stake at ABC, Spark, Historia, and Sirius Plus. Chorus indicated that these purchases were meant to help the company expand their television holding in the competitive Quebec market. Chorus also planned to open an office in Montreal, Quebec following the sale. At the start of September 2013, Chorus's television business was reorganized into five different divisions. Chorus Kids, Chorus Women and Family, Chorus Content Distribution and Pay TV, Chorus Airtime Flights, and Chorus Media. 
The Chorus Kids Division was subdivided into operations for their eight TV channels, including Teletoon, YTV, and Cartoon Network, Animation Studio, Novana, and a book publishing company called Kids Can Press, which was acquired by Chorus during the Novana deal. On January 1st, 2014, Chorus would fully acquire the stakes from Astral and Shaw that was mentioned earlier. In April 2015, Chorus announced that it had reached an agreement with, with the Disney ABC Television Group to acquire long-term Canadian multi-platform rights to distribute the Disney Channel Program Library and Associated Brands. Stealing the rights to distribute from DHX Media. As a result, they would launch a Chorus brand Disney Channel Canada in both English and French on September 1st, 2015. This happened the same day Teletoon Retro shut down, so some providers decided to switch Teletoon Retro with Disney Channel. Chorus ran Disney Junior and Disney XD, would launch three months later on December 1st, 2015. The existing versions of Disney related channels that were originally owned by DHX Media would be rebranded to Family Channel spin offs, with Playhouse Disney becoming Family Junior and Disney XD becoming Family Charged which is current day Wild Brain TV. In May 2015, Chorus would gain the rights to broadcast three different CTV affiliate channels from Bell Media, with the programming starting in August 2015. Then in November 2015, Chorus announced that it would shut down two premium channels due to a strategy review, those channels being Movie Central and Encore Avenue. Those channels shut down March 1st, 2016 and were replaced by Bell Media's channels The Movie Network and TMN Encore. Bell also announced that they would be acquiring Chorus's stake in HBO Canada, giving Bell full ownership of the channel. Now, remember back in 2010 when Shaw re-entered the broadcasting industry with Shaw Media? Well, on January 13th, 2016, Chorus had announced it'd be acquiring Shaw Media, with Shaw Communications taking a 39% share of Chorus stock. The division consisted primarily of assets of the former Can West Media Company, including over-the-air global television network in 19 other specialty channels, such as the Food Network, HGTV, Showcase, History, and Slice. The transaction was being used to fund Shaw Communications' purchase of wireless carrier Wind Mobile, as the Shaw family's assets are considered a single entity for regulatory purposes by the CRTC. The CRTC officially considered a course acquiring Shaw Media to be a reorganization of their assets and thus exempt it from its concentration of media owner and tangible benefit rules. The reorganization was approved over two months later on March 23rd, 2015, and was completed on the 1st of April, 2016. At the same time, multiple Shaw Media executives joined Chorus, and Chorus would officially adopt its current logo after almost 17 years of having this logo. In October 2017, Bell Media announced an intent to acquire Historia and CBS Plus from Chorus. This would reunite those two channels, with the former Astral Media channels Canal D, Canal V, Virac, and Z. Chorus stated that the two channels were not part of its strategy priorities at the time. The sale would be blocked and rejected by the Competition Bureau for violating conditions imposed on Bell that prevented the company from regaining ownership of Astral Media for 10 years on May 28, 2018. In 2018, the three CTV affiliate channels mentioned earlier would become global affiliate channels after affiliation with Bell Media expired. Then in June 2018, the Global and Mail reported that the Shaw family was exploring the sale of its shares in Chorus in order to help fund future expansions of the Freedom Mobile, originally Wind Mobile, business. On March 4, 2019, Chorus announced that a 24-hour Adult Swim channel would be launched on April 1, 2019. The Adult Swim block on the Cartoon Network Canada channel would shut down the same day they announced the channel's launch. The channel would replace Action and would be under the same channel license. Two months later, in May 2019, Shaw announced it would sell its shares in Chorus in a secondary offering. 
The sale was expected to be closed and completed by the end of the month. A month later, Quark announced it would be a launch partner for Amazon Prime Video Channels in Canada, offering a subscription-based bundle known as Stack TV, thanks to live and on-demand programming from five global TV stations and 11 Chorus specialty services. Chorus would also launch a separate Nickelodeon SVOD channel known as Nick Plus. Another month later, multiple cable providers began notifying their customers that two core specialist channels, IFC Canada and Cosmopolitan TV or Cosmo TV, would close slash cease operations on September 30th, 2019. In October 2019, FYI announced that it would be closing as well on December 31st, 2019. In March 2020, Chorus replaced the individual mobile apps for most of its specialty channels unified under the global brand, including content from Global, Food Network, HGTV, History, Showcase, Splice, and W Network on launch. This ad encompassed the TV Everywhere streaming of programming from the networks of their subscribers as well as having a free ad-supported streaming of selected programs from the network without a television subscription. In June and July 2020, Chorus reached two agreements with subsidiaries of Comcast, including Canadian rights to original series produced by its U.S. streaming service Peacock on June 23rd, 2020, and Canadian rights to original productions from British subsidiary Sky Studios. The agreement would exclude DreamWorks Animation Television subsidiary, which has a pre-existing agreement with Wild Brain. Then at the end of 2020, BBC Canada, which is owned by Chorus, was shut down. Blue Ant Media would launch BBC First, which is a successor of BBC Canada in March 2021. In October 2021, Chorus partnered with Discovery to promote Discovery Plus streaming service to the Canadian market. Then in March 2022, DIY Network, which is owned by Chorus, rebranded to the Magnolia Network, along with the US channel. Then in March 2022, Nick Plus would shut down and be replaced with Teleton Plus, which contains shows from Cartoon Network Studios and Warner Bros. Animation. Then in December 2022, Chorus partnered with Paramount Global to launch a fast service called Pluto TV in Canada, with Chorus handling Canadian markets, advertising sales, and contributing channels featuring content from his library and global news. Then we get to 2023. Other than rebranding Teleton the Cartoon Network, not much has happened, probably because we are four months into the new year. So once this year is over, I'll probably make an update video if anything else interesting happens, of course. But other than that, thank you for watching this video. If you want to, please subscribe. You don't have to, and I'd appreciate it if you did it. And until I upload again, later.